morning, everybody. How's it going? We're between Edmonton and Calgary, Alberta, in Western Canada. We're headed south towards Calgary to pick up a load that's gonna take me east across the prairies back home to Manitoba. So let's get out there, let's get on the road. I have an empty 53 foot triaxle flatbed behind me. Let's go put something on it, tie it down, and get going. Let's get this show on the road. We stayed at a rest area around Lacombe, Alberta. Got about a two hour drive now down to Calgary. I have an 11 a.m. pickup appointment. I should be getting there around 10.30. Not too sure what we're getting in or if I need to tarp it or not. We'll find out when we get there. The only description I have is crated trusses. Whatever that means. I'm gonna find out. rolling into Calgary, you can see downtown skyline off in the distance there. Got about uh, another 15 miles, 20 kilometers or so. Hopefully it won't be construction the whole way, but if it is, at least traffic so far here is moving all right, but we're just entering the city, so I'm expecting it to get a little worse yet. going to southern Ontario and I might be taking it all the way through for now we're going home for the weekend got something going on on Friday we got an anniversary dinner on Saturday for me and my wife our seventh wedding anniversary which was this past Tuesday yesterday was it it's the 18th today it's Tuesday no, it was the day before yesterday already. Boy, time flies. Right, so here's my freight. It's a little bit windy, I'm sorry. It's 
pretty decent loads, but 45,000 pounds. Got my tarps strapped onto the back here. And that's that. It's time to, you know what? Zip eastbound across the prairies. That way. What is this coming past me? What? What is this? It's a Scania. How did you get a Scania truck into Canada? How'd you get it registered? Dude. That's a European truck. You never see those out here. He probably had to ship that over here on a boat. But how did you get it insured? Uh, I guess there's ways, obviously. There's ways of getting things insured. He doesn't have a radio. I was trying to get a hold of him before. He doesn't have a radio. Maybe they don't have CBs in European trucks. It's on Canadian roads. Put a CB in your truck. Got a little wet outside. All this traffic is trying to get past this farmer here. There's got to be a better way of transporting that thing. You're in my lane, buddy. You're in my lane. There's got to be a better way. entered into Saskatchewan now. We're losing daylight earlier and earlier every day. Got a bit of fog to deal with here. I've got about three quarter mile visibility, maybe about a mile. The camera doesn't really do it justice, but still flying across the prairies. I have another four hours, 48 minutes available to me to drive. thinking we're going to get past the capital of Regina. We definitely should, because that's less than three hours away. Oh, yeah. We might even get out to, like, uh, Whitewood. Yeah, probably Whitewood. Whitewood or Mooseman. We'll see where, uh, where we end up. I pulled into the scale uh, just outside of Swift Current, Saskatchewan. It's pretty foggy out tonight. I want to do a quick load check. Yeah, it's all still there. Just going to quickly check all these straps. Still tight. 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 So I go around here and make sure that all of these have not loosened at all. Got one portable right here. There we go. All still good. This is Indian Head, Saskatchewan. I haven't stopped here for night in probably 10 years. But I looked online and it looks like they got some truck parking for me here. I've only got 27 minutes left on my clock. So I'm gonna have to find a place to park. There's a pothole, why didn't I see that? Yikes. So according to my uh, Google mapping skills, there should be some truck parking by the subway up here. Looks like there's already trucks in there though. I've, I've never parked at this place before. Oops, let's turn that off. Oh, there's a Tim Hortons right there, that's handy. So right here in front of me, you see that tank truck? Oh, it looks like it's already full.
full in there. Oh, and it says SO parking only 30 minute time limit. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother with it then. That's disappointing. Can I park on the shoulder here? Got some other guys parking on the shoulder up here. found a spot to park here in Wolseley, Saskatchewan. Luckily, I only had two minutes left on my clock, so I didn't really have much of a choice. We were stopping here. Got myself a world-class booter. I was walking around the front of my truck here, and these lights were blinding me, right? So I couldn't really see where I was going. I wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, just around the corner here, this little surprise is waiting for me. World-class booter, right there. Uh, I wish I could go back a little further. I don't really want my steer tire in there. But I don't want... I don't really want to be further forward, because I need to leave enough space here. Right? So that people can still get around over here stuff but uh, can't go much further back love to go further back to go take a look at what's going on there anyways my foot's wet if you're wondering what that is uh, a booter that's when you step in a big puddle and your shoe or your boot floods with water it's a booter. So I got one squishy foot. I'll clean that up and go <laughs> straight to bed. See if I can move back a little bit further because I want to get that steer tire out of that puddle. It's not the biggest deal if it stays in there. It's not going to go down anymore. It's not going to sink. I'd just rather have the truck a little more level. It is what it is. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Tomorrow we go home. I got about another five and a half hours back, and uh, and we're home for a for a couple days. I'm tired. I can't even talk. I'm gonna go take my shoe off now and change my well, take my sock off, dry my foot off.